Hey there, welcome back to the White Farm. We're still in September. Finishing up the uh, belling here in this field. Got the the uh, the hay raked and the bells are all but done here. We got one more we'll make. I think we'll get one more off of this last little bit. Yep, just did get one. Alright, well that finishes up the uh, bailing. You see we do have quite a few bells out there in the field. And I do have a trailer here. I've leased a, uh, a trailer. We can load up the bells uh, that way. Uh, and I'll probably put some of them into that, that feeding silo. Got the pigs oinking in the barn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I should have rinsed this off before I put it in the barn. That's okay. We'll get to it later. Alright, we're just going to leave that tractor connected for now. I'm not going to unhook it until I need it for something else. So let's run over here and we'll hop in the... The, uh... The field boss. And get these bells picked up now. Since I am on PC, I do have the, uh... Universal Auto Load mod installed, so I am going to use that to pick up the bells. Luckily, this trailer does have a uh, or have the the mod set up for it, so you can just run around and pick it up. Works out pretty good. Probably could have just done this with our little trailer, but I wasn't sure how many bells we'd get off this field. And that little trailer only holds five. But it only looks like it would have been two trips, maybe? So, probably could have done that. Oh well. What's done is done. So, let's see. Let me check here. Does this show how much is in here? Uh, does it? Maybe if I go inside here. There we go. So, we have 4,500 4, hay, 5,000 straw, and 8,000 silage. So, yeah, I will need to put some more uh, into this feeding silo. So, what I'm going to do is just leave this tractor right there. Uh, we'll get those unloaded here in just a moment. But on the last episode, I had uh, used or picked up a, basically as a straw blower, and I put some straw into that silo with it. It didn't work out great, uh, but it did work. Um, but I do have a couple bells set up here. We're going to try it out here in the pig pen, or the pig barn, and see how it works out. Alright, well that is working. Now I'm not sure if that is the right side to blow it in. You know what, let's try something here because I have not sure if this, let's see. Okay, let me pull out of here and turn around. I think it'll be on the other side. Huh, that is weird. Like there's no trigger on the other side. Let me double check here. Huh, well. Okay. So I guess that is what it is. It only comes out that one side. Or at least for the pig barn. Or the, the blow in straw. Go ahead and get two bells in. I know that is not the correct sign. 
but that's okay. We'll just let it go in for this exercise. And we should be seeing... Oh, I am in the wall. Let's see, are we seeing any straw? Yep, it is starting to show up in the pen, so that's good. Okay, right, there we go. We got that done. So I had a couple things set up on this particular series that we can work on. Now, let's zip over. I think I have a tractor set up at the shop. Oh yeah. So mentioned in the episode or two back that I wanted to start upgrading the farm. Uh, going with a little bit more modern equipment. Not necessarily larger equipment, but more modern. And that's just as any farm would do over time is upgrade their equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the rakes and this tractor. So let me go ahead and start with that. Get that one sold and then the tractor be last. All right, so the reason I did that is because we don't really need it. And those rakes, while they work pretty good, I do want to move into something a little bit more modern. So we've got that sold. The next thing we need to do is buy a feed mixing wagon. Oh, that is the wrong category. Let's go back. Animals. Now I don't need anything very large, so I think I'm just going to go. Uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, I think I'll just go with this one here. It's the cheapest one. It holds a little 12,000. It will work, I believe, just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. And then I need to get a tractor down here. So let me grab a tractor, get this back up to the farm. We'll continue on. All right, so I'm back up at the farm. I got the... Mix and wagon brought up here, so I want to go ahead and grab a couple bells of this hay and I'll get it into the. I'm actually going to use the mix and wagon to uh, chop it up and then we'll put it in the silo with that. I think that'll work out pretty good. Oh, don't knock those off. Oh, um, don't knock them off. Oh, shoot, what's going on? There we go. I parked on the hill there, so it doesn't work out very good. Two in. I think we could probably get another one, maybe another two. So I do want to tell uh, or say a little update on the channel. I am getting close to only needing about 50 subscribers to reach 10,000, and I am super, super excited about that. That is a huge milestone. Uh, for my channel, uh, but you know, just in ch in general, for a channel, I mean, I, there's to reach 10,000 is is a big, big milestone for a YouTuber, and so I am extremely happy about reaching that. Uh, it's, it's very exciting. It's been a long process. Uh, I've been doing this almost three years, I think, now. So it's taken me a while to hit 10,000. But I'm going to do it. I mean, that is is a big accomplishment for me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's don't want to toot my own horn saying I did it, but I at least persevered to hit that milestone. So, uh, big thank you to all of you who have supported me through this time. Uh, it's very, very, very cool. Very cool. All right, so you see the uh, the wagon's full actually. And so there's a bell in there. We'll go ahead and start unloading it. And I'm going to throw those other two bells in. We'll get a good little bit of hay into this silo. And the only thing about this silo, because a lot of these tools unload from the left side, you have to kind of pull up into the wall there. It's not the greatest 
design there. A little, bit, little bit tight. Yeah, so hitting ten thousand is is just it's surreal, really. I uh, never thought I'd get that far. Here we are. We're at, we're nearly there. So hopefully we'll do some type of a celebration, maybe a live stream or something, when we get to the po the point of reaching it or pretty close. So that should hopefully come up pretty soon. Alright, so we are getting plenty of hay in there. And what I do, I think I have plenty in the silo right now to go ahead and mix up some food. Because if we look at the cows, I think they still have... Yeah, they have a little, little bit of hay. So we could let them go ahead and finish that out. But I don't want them to run out of food because I want to keep their production up. So let's go ahead and bring this around over here to the cow pen and we'll back in. Hopefully I can get in there with this tractor. Alright, let's see if I can get this backed in without hitting the walls. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. We should get the trigger here in just a moment. Should be under it. Let's go ahead and turn the menu on so we can see what's going on. Uh, first things first, put some silage in. Let's see, what's my ratio? About 40%, I think. Let's go a little bit more silage. Oh, there's good. Now put some hay in. Go there, and then we'll put some straw. Oop, I unattached. <laughs> Wrong button. Put some straw. And that should be TMR right there. Now, I don't have mineral feed in there, but that's okay. Oh. Now, that's frustrating because the, uh... Dadgum, this barn is, like, backwards. <laughs> well, I can empty it on that side. That's not on the side of the trough, but, hey... We're going to go with it because I don't have a discharge on the right side of this mixing wagon. I don't think there is one. Nope, there is not. Well, I should, should have probably thought of that before I bought it. But we're just going to go with it as is. It'll work out. It'll work out. Alright, so let's see. I think that probably brought them up. Yeah, a lot of TMR, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I have enough to mix up one more batch. I think I will. Let's see. How much sauna? Let's see what we have here. 30%, so we'll go 30% on hay. Go to about 60. That's good. And then we'll do a little bit of straw. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button there. This thing empties out pretty quick, so we'll stop right there. And that... See, yep, there's the trigger. I guess I could pull out and back in, but we'll just do it this way. So the cows have a lot of food now, which is good. So if we look at everything, cows now are getting filled up on TMR. So their production... They're actually already at 100% production, so... Uh, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference, but we're going to give them everything they need. Chickens, we need to feed the chickens. And then pigs, they're still doing okay with food. They're still doing okay. But the animals are doing well. And I think, I'm, you know what, I'm going to pull this out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pull it out. Because what I'll do is get some more of the hay and straw mixed up. I'm actually just going to park this right over here. And have it set up for when I get ready to do that. So, we have a few more bales on this trailer. I'll get dumped in at some point. Then I'll grab some of the straw bales out of the... Out of the barn. Let me hop in the truck here because I am going to go ahead and buy some more cows. Uh, I've got $81,000... Uh, we've got some products we're going to be selling here in the next 
month or two. So we're doing well. I think we're doing well with the money. Uh, we've got a corn harvest coming up soon and a sunflower harvest. So we're doing well. We've got things moving along quite well. You see, I've got a lot of eggs stacked up over here. I'm waiting for the price to come up on that. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of products that will sell here soon. Sunflowers across the way are looking great. I believe the corn will be ready next month. Sunflowers may be as well too. May be as well too. <laughs> that may not be proper English, but hey, I am from the country. I may not. Well, I know I don't speak proper English. All right. Oh, here's the trigger. Let's pull in right here. Let's see. What kind of cows did I get last time? The brown Swiss. They are 20 months old. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the mature cows. I can get them. the back up just a bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the mature cows. 7750. Five is all we can get in the trailer. So that knocked us down to uh, about 73.5. still doing very well with money now I do want to so I did to so kind of going back to the equipment that I sold so I sold a little Massey I sold the the rakes uh, I did let the so I had the mower on lease it was a rent to own or buy to own or lease to own I guess and I let it go as well so we're going to try to get a few pieces I am going to keep the tether I do like that Vermeer tether that we have even though it's a little bit older model uh, that works okay and don't really get much out of getting a newer tether uh, but rakes and mower the style changes quite a bit so uh, let's see where is the trigger there we go so yeah we'll be or I will be upgrading oh, let's see upgrading uh Some of the hay equipment coming up next season and then also i'm looking to upgrade the tractors modernize the tractors a bit i know a lot of you say oh no keep the keep the older tractors and i may keep one or two for a while but i do want to modernize it that was kind of something i, I thought of uh, as i started playing this farm i do like playing with the older equipment but i do want to progress this playthrough because you know if you don't do that you're basically doing the same thing with the same equipment over and over and at what point does it just become just so repetitive it's not fun anymore so part of the uh, challenge for me and the uh, part I enjoy with the playthrough is spending the money the money you make spend it on something hopefully something to make your life or your activity is a little easier so that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do so we are we're sitting pretty I believe you see all the pallets we have uh, I am going to get rid of the Jeep at some point it has served its purpose but I do want to upgrade something a little bit more heavy duty we'll do that at some point we got a lot of pallets to sell and while we're doing it, I hadn't looked yet uh, let's see if there's anything in the uh, used vehicle section that we may find useful. Mm, I'm not seeing anything that stands out too bad. We got the that right there. It's only 3.5 meters, but that could come in handy. I don't know. Might want something just a little bit bigger than that. But anyhow, we will see. So. Dogs fed. We've got the pallets there. Oh, and I need to give the chicken some feed. So let me see. What's the best way for... You know, I'll use the grain truck.
And hopefully I have some wheat in here. I may have to run over to the windmill and get it. Let's see what we have in this silo. Uh, what do we have? Anything? Yes, we have some wheat. That should be plenty. Well, I have created a tra traffic jam here. I'm going to have to get this cleaned up. So my plan is to do a little bit of cleanup on the farm. Uh, the finish up the September. And then we're going to move into October. I'm pretty sure the corn will be ready. So that'll be uh, what we do on the next episode. We'll harvest some corn. We'll be using the combine for that. And I'm going to have to get another header. I'm pretty sure because I don't have... Yes, I don't have a corn header. So I'm going to have to buy that. So that we can get the, the both the uh, corn and the sunflowers harvested. But we're moving along. Uh, just It's kind of getting to where there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, with all all the animals and just everything going on. Uh, I really didn't intend to have so many production sites. So I don't have a lot of them running right now. We're just kind of on pause. And I need to find a place to put this thing. It is just in the way. I've got to find a spot on the farm. So a little bit shorter of an episode, I think, than we have been having. I just wanted to bring in and uh, show you what we're doing here just to finish out uh, this month and the activities needed to get some things just cleaned up, tidied up, and ready for October. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please remember and click the thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel or just haven't yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and do that today. Help me to get closer to that 10,000 mark. Hope each of you have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here next time.